All right, uh, I'll even add some music here. Hey, welcome to the video. This is like the third take on this video. I keep trying to redo it and be fast and slow. I do everything. It takes me an hour to do anything, even explain a nice, simple, easy VI. Uh, the studio audience here has been very patient with me. They're so much, they're so fun. Uh, uh, yeah, and they're giving me a hard time about my Vim RC. Uh, if you're new to VI, don't worry about any of that. Just, just know that there's a whole wide, wonderful world of VI and Vim and NVim and NeoVim and all this stuff awaiting you. Uh, today, all you really care about is how you're going to survive uh, getting into VI and getting out of it, which is a long-standing joke about VI. There's been a thousand jokes about it. In fact, there are memes uh, you can go look that have the most complicated way to get out of VI, to exit a VI session, and they're pretty funny, actually. Um, so, I, unfortunately, I think VI is, is very uh, unfairly maligned by the people out there. Uh, and I believe uh, that Nano replacing VI as the default editor on most Linux systems was a mistake. Uh, I maintain that it was a mistake. I don't think you have any business uh, <laughs> editing files unless you know basic VI. And I'm going to defend that statement because it's actually not that hard. You want to know how hard it is? Go to rwx.gg slash VI survive. And I'm going to show you what that looks like right now. Uh, I got my screen key on so you guys can see uh, tools this is this is where it's hidden editors VI how to survive and this is a markdown readme file uh, this is it people this is all you need and I'm going to show you how to do all of this but I just want to go over it you just need I to get into insert mode that's what throws most beginners you need escape to get in and out of insert mode and command mode which is the default uh, you need to move around and you can use H, J, K, and L and be fancy like you eventually will really want to do. But for right now, since you're starting out, use arrow keys. I used to be against that. I'm not anymore. It's actually so easy to use the arrow keys when you're just starting out. When you're just starting out. But, you know, you're going to cure yourself of that habit later. But let's face it. If you were using Nano, you'd be using the arrow keys. You'd be spamming those arrow keys like crazy. So why not do it with VI and at least start out with the right editor? Okay? Just say no to Nano. Uh, then what else do we have? We have how to get out of VI. And, and so, uh, HJ, that's right, good point. HJ, K, and L will not navigate in insert mode. Uh, the, the, the powerful thing about the arrow keys for a beginner uh, is that they work in both command mode and insert mode. And I'll show you what that means. Uh, so, colon WQ, that's how you save and quit. Sometimes you want to quit because you did something stupid and you don't want to save it. Colon Q exclamation point. That would be me a lot, actually. So colon Q exclamation point. That means bail. Get me the heck out of this file. I don't want anything saved at all. Uh, and then there's also, you know, if you don't want to exit the file all the time just to save it. So I threw in colon W. So what is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine things to remember. Less than 10 things to remember. I'm going to give you one more thing to remember to make it for a nice even 10. So let's switch over to... Uh, uh, a different pane. I'll make a new pane. This is all Tmux, uh, which I talk about in another video. All right. So anytime you're making a new file, so this is the item number 10 I want you to remember. Uh, anytime you're making a new file, use the command touch. And I'm going to justify why to do that, but let's go ahead and do that. So touch creates a new file. We're going to use the long standard temp foo, uh, which you'll find uh, in reference materials all the way back to the 80s, 70s. Uh, it's just a common name that everybody picks. And what the touch command does is it either creates a new file or it touches the file's um, updated time and makes the updated time new. And what does that mean? So if I do ls-l temp foo, uh, you'll see that it's got, you know, June 18th, it's today, uh, it was created. Okay, why use touch? Why not just do vi temp foo right away? Why not do that? Uh, because you won't find this out until later and you'll be very sad. But if you, when you're doing a, a capture the fly game like over the wire, you will think you can edit files in your own home directory and who would not think that, right? Uh, but you can't. And so if you try to write a file in there by just opening it up with VI to do the editing, 
you don't find out that you cannot write that file until you've already written it. You've already composed it all, spent an hour writing this cool code, and you go to save it and it says, sorry, can't save it, read only file system. All right, so don't depend on it. The way to avoid that, there's no way to get around it, by the way. The way to get around it is to do a colon W space uh, temp whatever and save it wherever you need to temporarily and then move it around later to save all that awesome work you did. Uh, that's how to survive that situation. But if you just do a touch, if you touch the file, uh, it will say, I'm sorry, you don't have permission to edit, to update that file. Or it'll say, I'm sorry, you don't have permission to make that file. And I'm like, oh, I'm glad I didn't start editing this file right here. So, I mean, a lot of people that I've run into, they question my, not just my accounts, a lot of people uh, have been around for a while, suggest starting out creating files with the touch command for that simple reason. It just helps you avoid uh, the error of like inadvertently being in a place that you have no business making files thinking you're doing the right thing. So that's an extra check. Okay, so that's, that's you know, not really a, a part of EI, but you can count that as item 10 from the list. So now we can go ahead uh, uh, better check with ls-l, yes. So, um, only warns if the file does not exist at better check ls-l afterwards if it, if it, okay. So let's do vi temp foo, um, and, and we'll start editing on this file. Uh, and this is what you get. You get this empty screen and, uh, this is a completely unconfigured, uh, vi slash vim. By the way, vim is vi improved. Vi was one of the original editors uh, ever made. X is actually the editor that you're using, which is a line based editor, and vi is visual mode of that editor. And both of those editors kind of are the grandchildren of the the first editor ever made by humans called Ed, uh, which you should still learn, particularly if you're going to become a pen tester. So don't put that out. You know, do that. Sometimes you can't use vi because the the terminal's not powerful enough or you just broke into a system and don't have a terminal at all, uh, in which case you might want to learn Ed. I actually had that happen on one of my uh, the box uh, levels. So go ahead and just know that VI is, is visual mode for X. Uh, and this has zero configuration and it's going to be here by default. Thankfully, uh, Vim has done some default settings that are a little bit easier for us to understand. For example, in the old school VI, this little locate, you know, telling you what file you're editing and where you are doesn't show at all. Uh, so you have to actually configure it to do that. Configuration is a different video. So over here, it tells you the position. Uh, this first number over here is, you know, your, your character position. And this one is uh, the, the width. So some characters are one byte. Some characters are three bytes. That's a long story. Just know that that's telling you your position. Uh, 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 even if the file is read-only, I maybe... Maybe, colon W, uh, but there are file systems that you won't have access to. You won't even be able to do that. Um, so yeah, you'd have to have sudo access to that, but that's that's good to know. Okay, so what are these little squiggly things over here? Uh, the squiggly things are blank lines, and, and so that can be confusing. Uh, anyway, when you come into it, the, the thing, hands down, the thing that most beginners get thrown off by is the fact that they can't edit anything when they start, hello. Can't do it, right? Hell, <laughs> hell, I can't edit anything. Um, and that's different than any other editor you probably use. And that's because you're in command mode. That means you're just, you know, doing commands. So you got to understand that VI was made in a time when my mice did not exist. And so everything had to be done from the keyboard, which meant that there was one mode for moving around and doing fancy, cool stuff. Uh, that's command mode. And then there was another mode uh, for inserting and editing text. And so we we start out in command mode, but we need to get to insert mode right away. And the way to do that, as we showed on this paint over here, is the letter I. So the letter I, there's lots of ways to get into to insert mode, but I is the only way you need to memorize right now. So down here in the bottom left, we'll see uh, insert. That tells us we're in insert mode, and that's good to know. So now you can actually type anything, anything here, uh, and you can put some lines in here. Uh, just type the blank line. Uh, you know, and such. And, uh, oops, I did something that I'm not supposed to show you yet because I'm so used to it. Uh, so let me go back into insert mode. No, you didn't see that I did that. Pretend like I was in insert mode the whole time. So I'm so used to going back and forth between command mode and insert mode. And you probably should know that a good VI user uh, spends most of their time in command mode. They spend very little time in insert mode, uh, depending on what you're doing, of course, like if you're writing and stuff. So, um, so how do I go up? And I'm going to have to hold my hands back and think about this and pretend like I'm a beginner because I 
I'm used to doing it in all these other ways. Uh, so I'm just going to use the arrow keys, which I have trained myself not to use. Uh, but if I use the arrow keys, I can push up and I can go down. Uh, use, use Vim rather than VI. Uh, well, that's if you use VI, you will use Vim. Uh, if you type the letters VI, you will use Vim. And I strongly suggest against using the word Vim to edit a file. Uh, and using the word VI instead because they're the same if Vim has been installed nine times out of ten. And, and on those systems that don't have a Vim, VI will be the thing that you type. So train your fingers to type VI, not Vim. Good point. Uh, okay, so we've got the arrows. We're going up and down. And you can see we're still in insert mode. So this line doesn't have anything on it, so I can't go over. But if I do, if I if I push some spaces, now I can go over, right? And I can go down. I can go up and over. And I can use the arrow keys. Uh, I can go onto this one right here and push. Uh, let me let me let it clear. Okay, then I can do delete, and I can do delete. So everything in insert mode is the same as if you had used Nano or most text editors, right? Uh, you and it's kind of intuitive. You're just pushing the arrow keys, and just to review. We're doing the arrow keys, uh, arrow keys here, arrows, arrow, 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 and an I to get into it. Uh, as you can see, you can also use H, J, K, and L, uh, but you can only use those in navigation mode. Uh, in fact, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna take those out. Actually, I put it over here. You can use. Ooh, this is wrong. So hey, you saw me edit something on stream. I'm gonna change my survival mode to just use the arrows. You have no idea how how much of a change this is for me. I actually disable uh, the arrow keys on my VimRC to teach me to use uh, navigation properly. So just know that that's coming. But again, you're a beginner. You don't care. You just want to survive, right? So I'm going to take the arrow keys over. Uh, it's funny because, you know, like Rob of like three years ago would scream at this Rob for even telling you to do this. <laughs> But you know what? The arrow keys work everywhere, and beginners tend to use them. And you can you can spend time, you know, weaning yourself off of the arrow keys when you want to later. Okay, uh, so so yeah, and let's leave those on. Man, I just got easier even, right? And now this is actually accurate because the arrow keys are for both things. So you saw me do a live. Look at that! I did a save. W. There we go. Save. All right. So here we go. We're back to the arrow keys. This is really hard for me. I gotta tell you, it's very hard. So we're gonna move around. I'll say I want to put a, another line here. I'm still in insert mode, people. Can I do this entire thing without once going back into command mode? It's very hard because I'm not used to it. Uh, you know, when you get used to VI, you'll be going back and forth between command and edit mode constantly. But I'm gonna edit this whole entire file uh, uh, with just insert mode. All right, uh, I feel dirty when I do too. <laughs> but don't make, don't let's not shame the beginners, okay? We're not shaming the beginners, but you should know that you should get off of those arrow keys as soon as possible, okay? Uh, and the way to get out of insert mode, I'm going to show you now because you you have to after you got done doing all your inserting, right? Uh, you have to save the file, and you can't save the file in insert mode. You can't. So what are the keys for that? They're colon W Q and colon Q whatever, right? Uh, so you can't actually do that from, from insert mode. It would actually type a colon Q, and that's why there is a command mode. So in order to get back to command mode, the magical escape key, which the Apple Corporation decided to remove from to their 2018 MacBook Pros because of their extreme engineering idiocy. <laughs> so they removed the escape key. Do not buy a computer that doesn't have an escape key. I mean, that's just stupid, okay? So... Uh, and people always say, oh, they had it when they just had it. It was just in the pad part. I'm like, no, no, no. You're going to hit that escape key so many times in the course of your life. You know, now I'm going to teach you a secret about this, but I'm going to save my secret for later. You don't have to type escape. You can type control left bracket. So I'm going to go back into insert mode. You could also just type control left bracket for escape instead. I don't have that in my survival guide, but I'm just telling you here now. If you would rather, you know, train up those pinkies and type control left bracket and you have an American keyboard, uh, you can do that instead of escape. But escape is the official way to do this, um, not to use insert mode. All right. So we're going to push. Uh, I'm going to push escape. I'm already escaped, so I don't need to deal with that. And then how do I save? Let's go back. Saving is just WQ colon WQ. There's like 10 ways to save. Just remember colon WQ, colon 
W, Q, enter, and that saves the file and exits. All right, I open the file back up, and then I'm gonna uh, go into insert mode and change something else. Uh, I change to something. Okay, and then what? Now I'm gonna, <clears throat> let's say, I wanna just save it, but I don't wanna leave it, because I'm scared. I wanna make sure I get it saved. Push escape, and it went back, see the insert went away down here, and now I do colon, W, enter. All right, and then that saves the file. Rebind your caps lock to escape. That is a horrible idea. That is one of the dumbest ideas people recommend. Do not do that. <laughs> Don't you dare remap caps lock. Don't you dare remap anything on your screen, on your VI. Swear to God, don't do that. I'll rant about why not in another video. I will just tell you right now, the reason you picked VI is because you want your fingers to memorize the ability. How do you edit files on any Unix or Linux computer ever made? Okay. If you remap the escape key or any other keys that are standard to the VI editor because you can't, you're too bothered to press the escape key or the control left bracket key, which are both valid supported options across all computers. You will regret it because you will get on a system and you suddenly are a dud because you can't do anything. So end of rant. If you want to see a full run on that later, people who do, re I've even seen people remap JK to escape in command mode. Stupid, stupid. That's so stupid. I can't believe people do that. Anyway, people who remap F keys, totally, totally stupid. As long as you're not remapping things that you need to do on other systems. Okay. Uh, so anyway, uh, <laughs> I love you people. I love the people who recommend these things. I hate those recommendations. Hate. I hate those recommendations because I have seen what they do to people who try to get on a system that doesn't have their their precious, you know, RC bindings. And like, well, that's that's like really old school. Okay, boomer. No. All right. Uh, it's not true. You need to be able to be functional everywhere. That's the reason you picked VI in the first place. Otherwise, just pick Emacs or VS Code or any number of things, right? So if you're going to trick out your editor, that's fine on your one computer after you've learned how to be productive on all the num the percentage of bad advice on the internet is overwhelming compared to the advice you can get from people who actually do this for a job. And I'm talking about administering several systems at a time, systems administration, site reliability engineering. I'm talking about pen testers and on all of these people. I'm not talking about people who sit in front of the same computer all day, every day and edit. So I don't want to devolve into a war. If you're going to do that kind of thing, yeah, then trick out your Vim all you want. Trick out your, your VI all you want. Remap whatever you want. But just don't expect to be productive on other systems. Because, But there are careers that, and the careers that I am preparing beginners uh, to take on are those careers. The careers where you're expected to operate on a BSD system. You don't know when you're going to be logging into a toaster versus a, a server on Amazon uh, at, or a, you know an AIX machine or a Solaris box. Uh, so there we go. All right. Okay, done. <laughs> yeah. So here we go. This is all you really need to do. Uh, you just need to do I to insert, escape, learn the escape key uh, or the control left bracket if you really want. Uh, but I just put escape here so you don't have to be, uh, no. <laughs> Save and quit and, and, and that. So if you want to go to, uh, rwx.gg survive vi i think i might finally have this whoops vi survive sorry backwards vi survive it'll take you here uh, i need to update it but just remember you only need to remember nine things all right you need to remember i escape the arrow keys colon wq colon w exclamation point and colon w thanks for coming uh i'm gonna take a break and when i come back we'll actually uh do more with vi 